When Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords was attacked in Tucson today, her husband was in Texas training for his own extraordinary journey. And in fact, it was her husband who called an ABC affiliate to let us all know that his wife had survived the surgery, that she was battling for her life, and that he was going to race to her side. He's on his way to Tucson tonight, and David Curley is in Washington. David, you've actually met her husband. He's got an extraordinary story of his own. He certainly does. Gifford's husband is astronaut Mark Kelly. He is slated to fly the last shuttle mission in April. And today he got on a private plane to rush to his wife's side. Just 40 years old, Gifford started her third term in the House this week. And in November, we're going to take back our community. We're going to take back our district, our state, our government for the people, for the working people. After running her family's tire business in Tucson, Gabby, as her friends call her, jumped into politics, and she's not afraid to take on her fellow Democrats, including the president, on border control, an important issue in her district. We want to make sure that the President of the United States understands and hears the plight of the people who are most directly affected by the federal government's inability to secure our U.S.-Mexico border. During a trip to China in 2007, she met the Navy fighter pilot, astronaut Mark Kelly, and they married. Uh, she's very vibrant, uh, always moving, always doing something. Um, uh, you know, she and Mark are probably the, one of the most popular couples on Capitol Hill. Mark Kelly's twin brother, Scott, is in space right now, commanding the space station. He was notified about the shooting in a private phone call from Houston. I talked to the twins recently, who had expected to be the first blood relatives in space together, and asked Gifford's husband what he might bring his brother. Actually, he asked me earlier, you know, underwear runs pretty low on the space station. So he said, don't use all your underwear and just let me, when you, when you undock, let me keep some of it. Some great repartee between the two brothers. They won't actually meet in space together because the sh shuttle mission has been delayed just a little bit. But that phone call to our Houston station, David, very much like Mark Kelly. When word was out there, some predictions that his wife might be dead, he wanted to make sure that everybody knew that she was in surgery and fighting for her life. I talked to him a little bit about his wife uh, off camera. He seemed to be very much in love when we spoke. And clearly today, when he wanted to clear things up, as you point out, wanting everyone to know, true to form, she was fighting this. David Curley in Washington tonight. David, we appreciate it.